artists in the music industry are becoming more and more independent when it comes to producing their music and developing their brand. Today, there are companies such as High Season Co, which help to facilitate this process. And today, guys, we get to sit down with the maven, Tiffany Alexis, who is the co-founder and managing partner at High Season Co. John has an emergency, so he won't be able to make that uh, show tomorrow. Oh, the show with thing? It's a personal emergency. Personal emergency. <laughs> so enough. the only thing that sucks is that I already they already paid us. So what was the agreement? Well, because if we cancel, then it's a 100% refund. If they cancel, then you get to keep 50%. High Season Co. is a management, uh, artist management and digital creative agency. So we handle digital marketing um, for various clients and we manage five artists. Um, I didn't listen to John's song yesterday. I saw he sent it. Oh yeah, it. I sent it by text on Renda. What do you think of it? I really liked it. So he wants to run with this wants, that's first? That's his next single? That's his next single. Um, I assume he'll, he'll shoot a video. Um, so I just met with Craig now. Um, one of our artists sent us a new song that they have um, that they recorded last night, just really rough on their computer so we could get a feel of the sound and it sounds incredible. Um, so we're just scheduling for him to come in and record it at our home studio. Uh, we think that this is gonna be the next single coming from his project, which we're really excited about. Uh, so that sounds very good. I also had to, I had to cancel um, a scheduled appearance for one of my artists as well due to an emergency. So this happens from time to time, so I have to be extremely apologetic for it. Generally, we're very good at making sure that scheduling is fantastic, but some things are out of our control. So I just have to call the school where he was set to perform and do his appearance and just let them know something came up out of our control and actually refund uh, the balance because we do like to get paid before, just to make sure nothing goes wrong, which is what a lot of artists weren't doing. They get paid after and they have to chase money. I don't think, don't think that's good. I think it's really important for artists to be able to make money from the music that they're making as well. So what we do and something that we focus on a lot to make sure that they can work a little less and be more creative is find like revenue generating opportunities. So licensing is a very big thing that we focus on. And again, we work with a licensor in Minnesota who helps get music placed or artists music placed on um, TV shows or movies, podcasts, things of that sort. We also have a producer and we got him, there's a really really well-known marketer, Gary Vaynerchuk. We got his music out on there to make sure that we could, on his uh, daily Vaynerchuk show, to make sure that more people can be exposed to the music, which results in sales because they see like Notions, beats, like music provided by Notion. They end up reaching out to us and asking to get the music and yeah, helps with sales. Videos. Oh yeah. How you doing? Oh, yeah. What's up? Hello. Oh, hello, sir. How are you? Good, good. Good. Hi. Done. You guys found uh, parking okay? Uh, sort of. Yeah. Um. All right. So, what are we looking at? What are we yeah. gonna do? Yeah. Okay. Let's. What do you let us know what you're thinking? Yeah. Maybe let's just. I got like sort of nine like main points I want to hit. Yeah. I want to use this divider. Like maybe you're both back to back on opposite sides of it. Oh, okay, that's cool. Doing your... So how would you shoot that? Like, just front end? Yeah. Then inside the fridge with the Lost Craft beers. Yep. Then past the beer. And yeah, then... across the thing, yep. 
So we just went through the shot list with Rich, so we know everything and what we're doing for the uh, for the entire video. So now we're just gonna set up every scene and go throughout the house from top to bottom just to make it easier. The video is gonna be very interesting. We're shooting day and night, so see the first artist is doing all the daytime shots, and then Richard is gonna film Notion and all the evening shots. So should be very fun. Right, right. Yeah, you. Yeah. Right. Uh, so I was wondering, like. I know, it'll be up to you, Rich. Mm. Like, if they're sleeping in the same, like, at different same times, room, though, in right? different times, yeah. right? Okay. <laughs> pretty nice. Um, and then upstairs, if we want to do that, like, a uh, billiard scene. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we totally can have uh, some balls. So I like those like matching couches too, so even if you want yeah, to film we'll at the that. same time, you yeah, can film. Sure. It's like yeah. we're trying to do separate ways and there's legit like duplicates of everything. That's, yeah, that's what I love that. So my core responsibilities at High Season are, um, I do a lot of the client stuff, so content scheduling, um, I do, uh, you know, meet with the clients. We're of course selling our services to clients, so I'm trying to, you know, bring in lead generation. Um, with regard to the, uh, to the artist management, I'm sort of like the, because I sort of have the lengthy, or I guess the most experience in the music industry, I would say I'm more sort of like an advisor and I sort of, you know, I like the networking. I like, you know, I've got a great relationship with the, um, with the licensing guy in uh, Minnesota who's, who's become a friend. And like, I'm kind of that side, whereas Tiffany's the one who sort of makes the hard decisions. So um, it's just that shirt actually that Craig has on. It's from one of our sponsors, Vitali. So I just wanted to make sure that it looks clean and crisp in the video. So I was just lint rolling it down because he put his jacket on over the shirt, which we discussed. But he still did it anyway, and it got some lint on it. So I was just cleaning it up to make sure it stayed fresh, you know? And I was just checking that him and Notion both had the accessories that they have from the brand. Okay, ready? Yeah. Action. To make an impact on an artist's lives, I, I would like to think that that's immediately felt. Um, I would hope that because we take a burden off of their shoulders, they're able to be more creative and they feel that immediately. And, and not to say that they don't have to work and they're not going to work extremely hard. They still have to work very, very hard. So I feel like they're at ease knowing that they have someone there who's going to make sure everything, crossing all the T's and dotting the I's for them. I have six accounts logged in here on Instagram, and then, but I also have the record label logged in on this, on this phone. So I'm taking pictures here that I'm uploading to my account and also uploading to the record label's account. This is just for marketing purposes. I just want the followers here to see what's going on. So I'm just filming the guys in the background and getting some good shots just so people can get an idea of what's going on. Tiffany is incredible to work with. And there's something that she has that people are drawn to. Like, she's a boss, she walks, she walks in the room and people know that she's there. Like, we always tell people, you know, we have a vision board, we actually have a vision wall at home. And uh, in the, like, a, a key part of hers is Oprah. Like, she wants to be that type of, you know, a powerful, strong, intelligent, successful, accomplished woman. And she will be that. And I've had people, like, she just smells like success or something one of my friends said to me. And I thought, yeah, that's, uh, that's exactly what it is. Wait, 
Everything looks great so far. So this was the first run through of the verses um, and having the two guys on each side and they look amazing. It looks really, really cool. I can see the vision that Rich has and he's bringing kind of all of our vision to life. So very, very happy. So we're just going to move upstairs and continue with, all, with the next scene, which is going to be Craig waking up or C waking up and getting started for the day. So I'm thinking, like, say, like, one of us, like, climbs, the, like, coming in, like, if we're getting up, like, I, I say, if I wake up, I wake up on the bottom, say, mm -hmm. and I get up, whatever, and then at the end, when it's dark, Brad's climbing up here and goes to bed. Right. I think having an artist manager with you can benefit you in many ways. We can leverage our connects that we have in the industry to provide you with more exposure. Um, I think we're also beneficial because we can keep you on track. It's really easy to get distracted or really easy to just get caught up in the music. Scooch to your left. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Action. I think having the business acumen side of music is really, really important. And it's very important to ensure artists don't get taken advantage of. And I feel like artist management is there to make sure that artists don't get taken advantage of. You can sign really shady contracts and you know get really bad deals if you don't have someone who's not um, perhaps like clouded by like the passion or the or just the creative side of it if you have someone who's like I'm looking strictly in business for your business in your business interests <laughs> and looking at it as a career and not just the creative side um, I think they're we're better at making more educated decisions for artists and making sure that they have the best possible outcome for their careers <laughs> If someone is interested in managing artists, I would definitely say study the music industry, understand where the opportunities are to make money for your artist. This is very important because if you're able to, to exploit your artist's talents to make money for them, as in through licensing or through booking shows, then your artists can take more time to be creative, which I think in the end is the goal for every artist. They don't want to have to work full time anymore. They want to be able to live a life they love off of their talent. And I think that's what we're striving to do. Uh, C scenes, which is great. So we're really happy with the way they turned out. Um, we finished with the pool scene and the guys did really well, an eight minute game, which would have generally taken me like 25 minutes to do, so it's fantastic. So right now we're going to um, just wrap up just the smallest scene now for C and then head out with the notion scene. So the sun's gonna set and we're gonna start taking part of his scenes now. So just a little break time now in between. Up. Right now we're just, C is just going to lay down a track from his upcoming album called uh, Relentless. Um, he has a producer in Toronto and basically they're just going back and forth and giving each other notes on the song. So we just need to come here and lay down the most recent version of it and he'll send that off to the producer in Toronto to get some feedback. Ah. Uh. Ay, staying woke like I don't sleep Dedicated like I won't cheat Forever ready like a whole heat Never dipping like I so cheap Closed and packed up in cold leaf Man, we trying to make rap great again As an artist, so High Season has really helped me focus on my craft again. So as an independent artist these days, you can't just be an artist, like that's not a thing. You can't just do the one thing because it's just, in this DIY world, you're not gonna survive. You also need a break from that sometimes and you need to, to focus on your craft and what High Season has allowed me to do is focus on my craft again and really be an artist and uh, to me it's super important that we get to give that the energy that it deserves and it's one of the things, it's, it's sort of funny because it is the reason you do all this stuff and then the other stuff becomes so, like, it drags you down to the point where you're just ignoring the craft and I've, I've heard that from so many of friends in the, in the game like they, they're all like stressed about it like because people don't always have the, the team support that we have.
For an artist to be successful today, I would highly recommend diversifying your skill set. So um, being like DIY, I think should be like the religion in a way. Like it's one thing to make the music, but if you can make the music, you can record it and mix it and master it. And maybe you can even do your cover photo for it. You're gonna face a lot less barriers than someone who has to wait on a bunch of people or doesn't have the money in order to get certain things done. That sounds good, you feel good? Yeah. I, I like it, uh, sounds great. Yeah, let me know if that's, <laughs> we got anything else to add? Yeah. Wants to change it or whatever, but yeah. I love it. All right, so it's 5.50. Uh, we just finished at the home studio so that C could do a, a really quick recording and get that sent off to the producer. The day is not over. Um, we're headed back to the uh, set to finish up Notion's part of the video. So with that all being said, we should probably wrap around 1 a.m., hopefully. Um, hopefully. Most likely 2 a.m. And. Uh, then it's, that wraps up a full three days and four music videos in three days. And then Notion and Mike, the, the production assistant, head back to Toronto tonight. So they're probably not getting home till like 7 a.m. or 8, 8 a.m. But yeah, that's, that's the day. That's the life.